Okay, in this particular uh, lesson, what we're going to look at is just some absolute value function extras, a very short uh, clip. Uh, let's look at two problems. It says the graph of y is equal to f of x has x-intercepts of negative 3 and 7 and a y-intercept of negative 2. State the x-intercepts and y-intercept of y is equal to the absolute value of f of x. So what this is saying is that the typical function or the non-absolute value function, y equals f of x, uh, has x-intercepts of negative 3, which is here. We're just going to use uh, a scale of 1 and positive 7, and a y-intercept of negative 2. Uh, and what it's asking next is state the x-intercepts and y-intercept of its absolute value function. Uh, what we learned in the previous lesson is the only thing that gets flipped, or the only thing that we take the absolute value of, is the output. So in this particular case, uh, the only value that's going to change is that this negative output, as far as y is equal to absolute value of f of x, will change. So in answer to the question, uh, our x-intercepts will still be at negative 3 and positive 7, but our y-intercept will now, for the absolute value function, move up to 2. Uh, in the next problem, it says the graph of y is equal to f of x passes through the coordinate negative 3, negative 4, so the typical function non-absolute value function passes through negative 3, negative 4, which is right here. Uh, <clears throat> and it says, state a coordinate that the graph of y is equal to the absolute value of f of x passes through. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, all that happens is that it is going to be reflected on the x-axis and not on the y-axis. So the negative 3 coordinate stays the same, and the output, negative 4, gets reflected to positive 4. So the answer there is negative 3 and 4.